All right, switching gears now to the auto world as shares of German car maker Volkswagen are moving down this morning, down over 1%. That's after we heard from CEO Herbert Diess, who warned that the shift away from Russian energy isn't happening fast enough and could lead to an energy supply halt. For more on this, let's bring in the iFinance's auto correspondent, senior auto correspondent, sorry, Pras Rubermanian, <laughs> the, only, the only one, of course. <laughs> Pras, give us a breakdown on exactly what's going on here. We know that Germany at large was very reliant on Russian energy, cut off during the invasion of Ukraine. That presents some challenges for automakers like VW, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's tough times in Germany for everyone, but in particular, these automakers that have, you know, power plants that actually power these factories on site. And they've had to switch from LNG or natural gas to, to coal, which is, you know, mm. kind of a big deal in Germany, like coal power to power these plants. And then, you know, it's talking about how they're not going to get that, get there in terms of energy independence for quite some time. This is as VW is trying to catch Tesla in production, right? So they, they say they have a year of, of back orders for EVs right now, but they're still trying to ramp up to catch them. Um, but they're doing with the coal power plant. So, you know, it's not all bad news, though, for, for, for VW. The, um, the CFO said another, at another event uh, today that the Porsche IPO is on track for the fourth quarter because that company's resilient to market disruptions like mm. component shortages and energy disruptions and things like that. So I guess this is an interesting uh, narrative for Volkswagen, which got busted for that big emissions scandal, because here you have a company that was essentially one of the first to make the transition to EV because they were required to do so, now turning to coal. Yeah. Now, of course, it's a short-term fix, right? At least yeah. that's yeah, yeah. probably what they're saying. I mean, how, how long are we talking about here in terms of the Russian-Ukraine conflict, right? Is it Can they actually get that NAC gas from the U.S., or they want to get that LNG come, come from the U.S.? That takes time and setting up new lines of transport. So. I don't know how long that'll take, but it's funny that a green Germany using coal to power their plants to make EVs is sort of <laughs> out, of, out, of, out of whack, right? So then what, what do you think you know, the CEO is trying to say here? Who is he talking to? Is he ta trying to talk to German policymakers to say the infrastructure needs to be built up at a national level with other types of energy suppliers? Or is, it, is he talking to himself and saying Volkswagen needs to do their own transition faster. Like, who's the audience? You know, <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that because just a couple days ago, the the, the Germany's uh, EU representative uh, basically said that they're not going to abide by the 2035 deadline to get all cars to be EVs. They said we're not going to do that. We we can't meet that 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 sort of obligation. And the fact that you know they're a massive automaker in terms of a, uh, Germany, the actual industry is so hugely tied to the auto industry that they can't just say we're going to go all EVs right away. You know, right. so I think it's both a conversation with the, with the actual con country and people there and just delegates in general, like, hey, let's try to, like, make this happen in a way, like, sustainable way. To be clear, does any of this have any impact on the, you know, output and development that they have right now in terms of the expansive line of EVs that they want to? It seems like in the next two to three years, they've actually kind of lined up all the materials they need, mm. the battery supplies, the, the, supply, the product lines and factory lines to make these cars for the next couple of years. Uh, after that is when we're going to question, can they keep making that in that quantity that they say they will uh, through 2030? Okay. Yahoo Finance is Prosperity Thanks so much for the breakdown. Appreciate it.